On April 26, 2022, Richard Mage texted his wife Jennifer saying he did not feel well and was heading home from work early. Jennifer arrived home later that evening, noticing her husband's truck parked outside their Troy, Illinois, home, and his wallet and the truck keys on the table. Richard was nowhere around. Jennifer reported her husband missing the next day. Troy police searched the property which they described as a hoarder home, but did not find any traces of the missing man. They noticed a sewer-like odor, but could not locate its source. Eight months later, Jennifer struggled with the decision to put up a Christmas tree without Richard. Decorating seemed strange with him still missing, although she ultimately decided a tree might help lift her spirits. As Jennifer searched through a cluttered closet under the stairs for decorations, she found her husband's mummified body. She called the police. The storage area, where Richard's body was found, had originally been accessible by a hallway door, Jennifer told People magazine. However, after the couple remodeled their home, the space could only be accessed via a door hidden in a larger outer closet. An autopsy conducted by Madison County Coroner James Nunn revealed Richard had died by suicide eight months earlier. The report stated there were no injuries on Richard's body to suggest foul play. Richard was a 53-year-old father of three and grandfather of three. Sadly, he also struggled with mental illness, although Jennifer says he always got help when he felt down and never discussed suicide with her. She also told People magazine that her husband did not like to throw anything away, but felt that hoarder was a strong word. How could Jennifer live in a house with a dead body? Many question how Jennifer could live in the same house with a dead body for so long without realizing it, considering the horrid smell emitted by decaying flesh and how police noticed the sewer-like odor during their first search of the house. Officers searching the home noted how the smell only lingered in a portion of the home and later dismissed the strange smell as odor from the trash strewn about the house. A plumber had repaired a broken pipe outside after the police visit, which seemed to help with the smell. Kelly Rogers, the county's chief deputy coroner, explained that Jennifer might not have noticed the odor if Richard's body had advanced beyond decomposition to a mummified state, which would eliminate any odor. Richard's family was not so understanding questioning how police could miss the body after three searches. Police responded by stating they had undertaken comprehensive searches of the home and surrounding area. 